Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my YouTube art channel analytics. Let's get right into it. I forgot to put the phone into airplane mode so I will not be disturbed. One moment. So why do I do this on my art channel? Just because I think it is fascinating to look at analytics. Not that I understand them completely, but I'm still learning and I feel that there's a slight difference with our channels versus other channels. Some things we cannot quite do as, you know, the experts recommend and stuff like that. But I thought, well, I'll just take you into my analytics. I think I should do this once a month about the previous month just to see what worked out, what didn't, what needs improving, what makes no sense because pff, there's so much to learn. Anyway, here we are in my channel dashboard, Mimi's art. I'm going to go back to um, when I started experimenting with shorts. Give me one second here. And I'm still learning my like how the analytics work and how I can navigate that properly. And as you've noticed, it is in dark mode. I prefer it that way. It's easier on the eyes. So what I want to do is actually go back all the way to, let's just say, Let's do the last year so you guys have a little bit of an idea. I give you a tiny little history about my channel because, and yes, my computer is slow, so bear with me. I have been MIA on my channel a couple of times where I would just like not be there, not post anything. I might be consuming YouTube videos because I still use it for my own entertainment and education and whatnot, but there have been big gaps and I'm just gonna show you right here where that big gap occurred. So the end of September here, there was a short that I uploaded, not the end, sorry, September 9th. I uploaded the short regarding my cat painting and then school happened. Okay, can we get rid of you? Thank you. Then school happened here, September, October, November. I didn't post anything over here. It's just like a freaking flat line. Off there are some views because some videos would still generate views. I'll slow down a little bit. See, as you can see here in this area here, I posted fairly frequently and then there is this big gap. So I kind of picked it up again here in March. I did one video release here. All of a sudden, just before the year ended, I'm like, I have to finish this painting. So I did and I got my cat. Um, portrait done and that was just one video posted by the end of December or January 5th sorry correction anyway so there's this this is our cat that I painted and then there's a whole lot of nothing up until um, March where I just decided okay I gotta come back over here I gotta just start being a little bit more <laughs> serious about YouTube. If I want this to become an income stream, which I really would like to see it become, yes, I got to put in the work. I cannot just sit there and just like, wait, okay, come on, fall into my lap. It doesn't work. So we're going to pick it up in um, March. So we're going to go here and just go over to the month of March. And these are a couple of the videos there. So it, first off, Everything will be green, obviously, because I didn't really post anything really prior to that. So can't really go and rely on those numbers. I mean, everything is great. Everything is wonderful, right? Because hmm, didn't post before. Now I start posting. So and everything is like almost a thousand percent better. So that's that. So I posted one regular video here, the Jaguar's eye, and then I started experimenting and that with shorts. Now, not this one. <laughs> that was just a short off of that bigger video. This one here, March 24th, that marks the beginning of an experiment that I'm still running regarding um, YouTube shorts and the type of shorts. So I started posting inspirational shorts and to see how that would work. And I'm, I gave myself three months and I'm still have the month of June ahead of me. So that experiment isn't over yet. So if you would like to see a video about that experiment, about what I've learned from that, shoot me a comment and I will definitely add that to the list of videos to make. But that kind of marks the beginning of more frequent uploads. And that's it. So for March, one long form and then three shorts. All right. And obviously everything up in the greens because, you know, I hadn't been posting beforehand. So then we're going to go over to 
April. Now it can compare with the month before. Now you can see a difference in numbers. So still 1.9K views, 28% more than March 2nd. K, okay, I love you, but I don't like it when I thank you. Like when I hover over these guys here, obviously things show up and sometimes they stay on my screen and they don't go away. See, really frustrating. Okay. Now this is still in the green, 28% more than in the month of March. And that's awesome, 1.9K views. That's because of the shorts. And then the watch time um, is a little less, 14.7 hours. I also can tell you right now, I have a small channel. I have, as of today, 725 subscribers. And I am really trying to work on growing the watch time because my watch time has been so low. I seem to find it harder to get the watch time than the subscribers. So, but let me know what your experience is on that. I just find like subscribers will find me, but the watch time, how, how do I keep, keep people engaged? And it, obviously if you post shorts, that's not a lot of watch time, but interestingly enough, it will add up and I'll show you in a little bit. Subscribers here is um, plus six for the month of April. Well, is that great? I mean, if you look at the big flipping YouTube channels, no, but for my channel, for something that's been dormant, it's growth. And I'm just saying, even though it's 71% less, it's still growth. This the month of April, I posted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. Let me see. Yeah, there's a short in here. Cannot, you can barely see it, but that's a short. So eight shorts and then one long form video, which is the frog painting. So, that's what happened there. Um, maybe not like the best of months as far as performance is concerned. And then we'll go over to um, May, which we are just at the last day of May. The data might be like a day or two short on that. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to upgrade properly. But here you can see there's this, everything is in the greens, which is per, like, it's great. 3.8K views, 22 watch uh, time hours, and plus 11 subscribers. You know, green arrows make me happy. So there's just a little bit of a run. Okay, so I started it up again and then trying to maintain, you know, a certain upload schedule and also um, keep on experimenting with my shorts. So here we have one, okay, let me know. So one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and maybe eleven here. Oh, eleven, twelve. Twelve shorts in a month of May. I have also uploaded some random shorts versus the the shorts that I'm experimenting with. So there has been a lot of shorts going up and only one long form video right here. And actually there is another one going live today, May 31st. Um, so I'm not sure if that's gonna count, like if it's gonna help with the data at all and analytics because yeah, it's gonna go live today or just after four Pacific time. So I count that one as, you know, part of June really. So next month, you'll see how that one performed. Okay, so I can dive a little bit deeper in a few things here, but let's just go here at content and Again, all green arrows, 3.6K views, thanks to the shorts, 11.8K um, shown. YouTube is pushing my stuff out there. 59 likes, which is 30% more than uh, April, and then uh, plus 10 subscribers, which is 150% more than April. April was not a very good month for subscribers. So we are doing good in this, and this is only based on shorts, guys, right here. Shorts, 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 shorts. So let's go to all and see what it does here. Okay, I don't get my nice little graph, but this will give us information as well. A lot of new viewers, 3.4K on shorts, 82 on regular videos. Returning viewers is a lot less, 20 on the shorts and 11 on the videos, but that's okay, I'll take it, you know? You gotta start somewhere, you gotta go somewhere. Subscribers, I've got gained uh, plus 10 subscribers from shorts and plus two from videos. So I can conclude that shorts do bring me subscribers. I'm hoping that these subscribers will stay loyal to the channel, that they will actually like my long form content and watch it, but 
nonetheless, they're subscribers. Now, okay, there's a lot to say about that because I prefer to have an audience that is engaged, that likes what I do, that doesn't just subscribe because they like one short. I think it is uh, imperative to especially, yeah, if you want to create a community that is there for you and that you can be there for them and an audience that's engaging that your subscribers are there to stay. Okay, so as far as views are concerned, 96.5% here um, from shorts, 132 views from my videos. And that is uh, also like older videos that have been viewed. I have some evergreen content going on on my channel, which is really good. So, but because I have really been focused on the shorts, you can see there's a lot of views coming from there. Plus shorts overall, in my experience, have been gaining a lot more views than my regular videos do. So 12 shorts, one video for the month of May. Now let's see if there's data here. There is impressions on how they led to watch time, 7.6 K impressions, the views from that click through rate is not the highest, you know, two between two and four, I think between two and three, I think is considered normal and I'm below that. And, but I gained five watch time hours, you know, for a small channel, it's all little bits help. Viewers across the format. So here it's interesting that I, uh, it's only 52% that watch the shorts only, and then 39% that watched both, and then 9% that watched videos only. So the shorts are still pulling rank, but that's also because I put out a lot more shorts than I do regular content. And then obviously the how viewers find me right now, again, shorts are really like I'm doing a lot with the shorts at this point. So yeah, it will make sense that 89.6% of viewers came through the shorts feed. Okay. We're going to break this down into just videos. So 132, uh, it's about the same views that I had in April. So nothing changed there really. Um, but I can see that YouTube has been pushing here 42% more impressions versus April. So I'm like, yay, thank you YouTube for throwing my videos out there and trying to, you know, gather an audience <laughs> and try to entice somebody to come and take a look at this. So that is great. I'm hoping next month that it's even more impression click through rate 1.6, not the best. An average view duration of regular videos, three minutes and 15 seconds. Now you tell me, please, what is considered normal, what is considered good, what's considered great, what's considered really bad. I don't know what's normal as far as average view duration. Most of my long form videos are between 10 and 20 minutes, roughly. So if I have three minutes, 15 seconds, average view duration, is that good or bad? I do not know. It's not showing me here that it's any better or worse than the month before. So I have no idea. Now here, this is, this is where I find it interesting. The top videos. Now this makes sense because that one, this one was just launched two weeks ago. So it makes sense that it is on the top. This, however, this one, how to paint a fantasy forest portal. That one has really been starting to take off lately. Like not as in it's going viral. I'm getting thousands of views. Nope. I do not. I also do not get thousands of comments, but I have noticed an increase in views on that particular video. It's really interesting. I've seen some older videos that people are starting to watch. So that I find interesting. I'm keeping an eye on this guy here because I think that one is two years old. Let me see when I posted it. Okay. We're going to just go on a little rabbit trail here for his portal. So this video has in total gotten 708 views since it was published. It's given me 48.2 watch time hours and a total of 26 subscribers. Now, when did I launch it? What does it say there? February. Well, February of which year guys, which year? How do I find out? 2022, sorry, since published. So here, oh my gosh, blind, it's up here. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so February 18th, I launched this video. So that's two years ago. And it's still, and especially in the last little bit, so we're looking here, where is February of this year? Is this, 
Okay, oh, we're almost a year. Anyway, so two years later, we're sitting at 581 views. Yeah, it's just, it's been getting a lot of views lately. It's crazy. I am really surprised. Average view duration is four minutes. Average percentage views, 10%, you know, like here's the rest of this. Um, 61% still watching around the 30 second mark. And it's not a short video either. Look, it's 38 minutes. So that kind of tells me a little bit like, huh, do I need to make longer videos? Are people enjoying these kind of videos? Is it the topic? Is it because it's a fantasy world? It's like an escape into something completely different. Is it that because it's that type of a painting? Is it the colors? Do people like green? Or is it because it's a longer video? I do not know the reason why. I'm just watching it. So I'm just going to do a little deeper dive. It's only, it's, it's had 11.3K impressions. Impression click rate 4%, pretty cool. And then, um, yeah, the views is 708, which is 518 more than usual. So this video is producing views and watch time, which is cool. And it's just over two years old. So don't ever disregard some of your older videos. Because if I look at the first year, so we're going to go to 365, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're looking at impressions. My bad. Hold on, views. So 365, roughly. So over a year, the first year, let's get this exactly. Can we do this? Can we do this? One year, one day. Well, whatever. 348 views a year after it was published. Now we're at 708 views. So it's still picking up views. It's like, it's... I'm surprised. It's like, yay, woohoo, how people find it. YouTube search, so it is something people are searching for. Well, Mimi, that means you should double down on that content, make a similar video. That will be great advice if I wanted to paint a landscape, which I do not. <laughs> I have kind of switched my focus from landscape to animals, to like realistic animal painting and yeah, well, but the algorithm and the people are searching for it. Great. If they're searching for it, they can find this video. And I have probably have like 20 other videos that are landscape based. They can all watch that. I am not here to please the algorithm. I am here to understand my audience. Yes, but I'm also going on my own journey. So if I kind of make a slight little left turn to start doing animals in my case, that is my choice. And that's where I want to go. And if you want to follow, that's up to you. But I'm not just because it's search like related and people are all of a sudden into it, going to make the same th painting just, oh, but it's going to bring in views and it might just bring in more people. And it might just like, you know, maybe your channel will blow up. Yeah, maybe. But then, then I'm doing something I don't want to do. And that to me defeats the purpose. So it makes sense that some of the latest ones, so the, um, studio tour, the poison dart frog and the jaguar's eye. They make sense because they were fairly recently produced. Um, how to paint bamboo sticks is an old video too. And that's starting to get some traction as well. Interestingly enough, you know what? That painting is not even finished. <laughs> like I, I, if you watch my studio tour video, you will find that bamboo painting sitting behind my easel and I'm saying, yeah, it's been sitting here for a year, moving on. Yes, because I have still to finish that. But it's funny that that video is actually starting to gain some views. Interesting, that's all I can say. And then recently I have started to engage into my community tab a little bit more, which you can see here because there's absolutely nothing in the beginning of May and here I'm starting to work on like some regular posts and these are impressions so that's you know youtube pushing it to people just something to keep in mind it will help with engagement with your audience i have not a lot of people engaging i feel even though i have 725 subscribers most of my videos don't get comments or anything like that or my shorts no not really very comment like overload or whatever. Maybe shorts is not the place for that. I don't know, but I just find 
that there's not a lot of engagement. So that's why I started to utilize the community tab a little bit more, try to post something in there a few times a week, just to engage people, polls work, asking people questions, or just showing a random photo of what I'm doing, just in the hope that people feel like, Hey, we're dealing with a person with a human on the other side of the screen. So, all right, we're going to go to audience right now and still in the month of May. So 22 returning viewers. So that does tell me that people are coming back to watch my content. Cool. Great. Wonderful number. Not really, but Hey, people are coming back. I can't complain. And then the unique, unique viewers are mostly uh, based on shorts. I'm pretty sure mostly shorts related, all good. And then I gained 11 subscribers or 10. Sometimes it says 10, sometimes it says 11. Crazy. Well, anyway, still better than last month. It says 83% more. Well, all right, we're doing something good. And obviously you lose some here, lost tier two, lost one, lost one. I don't mourn over subscribers lost. If I'm not your person, I'm not your person. If this channel is not something you're interested in, then that's fine. You are free to come and you're free to go. And then there's the inspiration. I don't really use that all that much. I find that when I look at that and then I plop it into you um, and then I throw some of these suggestions into TubeBuddy to see what would work for my channel, half the time the competition is way too high. I don't think it's very useful for me at this point. So there we go. That is for the month of May. So there we have it. People watch my videos 3,760 times. I have all green arrows here, which is great. And yeah, we're, we're gonna keep on going on. As you can see, you this, this forest portal painting is again in my top content for the last 48 hours. So funny enough. And I don't wanna go into shorts all that deeply because I'm still running an experiment there. So those are my analytics right now. So what am I going to be working on? Well, I'm going to continue on with my shorts experiment that I'm doing, and I'm adding some other random shorts here or there. As of right now, I, my goal for YouTube is to post two shorts every week. Oh, but you should post a short every day. Yeah, I like I should. Well, it's more like, what am I capable of? Okay, right now I'm posting two shorts a week, maybe three if I can squeeze that in. I've committed myself to at least bi-weekly uploads of long form videos. Yeah, I know. I probably should post at least one video a week, which I'm not doing. Why? Because I'm a person too, right? I have other things going on. I have responsibilities. I have children. I have a lot of stuff on the go and I just, that's what I can commit to right now. And I'm hoping in the future that it can become weekly. It takes time to make a video. It takes time to paint. I, my current project, I have not finished yet. I'm still working on it. And I believe quality paintings take time. If I'm going to be pushing myself to make sure that I, I produce a painting a week, I don't think it's going to really be great quality. And that way I'm not challenging myself. I feel like I'm not reaching my potential. I'm putting the time and effort into my current work. And when it's finished, I will post it. Question, do you prefer to see a painting from like beginning to end? You know, even though I speed up through certain sections, I do a voiceover, I have some music with it, but, or would you like me to chop that up into, let's say, no, show me a video of how you painted the eyes of this animal. And then show me a, um, a video of how you did the ears. Show me a video of how you layered the fur. Okay, and then, then I want a video about how you did the mouth and the nose. Like that is four different videos, right? And because I right now I'm gathering all the footage. I've got it all set up aside and I've got it ready to roll in CapCut. I have not edited any of it. And the thing is, at this point, I already have four hours of footage. And that's not even me filming everything on that painting because what happens is when I paint what I do on one side of the face, I will do on the other side as well. And it's the same exact 
process. So I don't film that half the time. Or what if I do accidentally, I cut it out because who wants to watch me do the same thing twice? I don't know, unless you like, like that, let me know. But anyway, do you prefer watching maybe a 40 minute video where it's a little like what well, every single part of that animal, the anatomy, the different things, whatever, get covered? Or do you prefer me chopping that up into different pieces? But you'll be looking at uh, weeks worth of the same subject. Because like right now I'm working on a dog and I can actually, let me just see, because I do have a photo. Let me pull that up on here. So this is my current project on my easel. As you can see, it's not finished. Uh, obviously the, no the nose and the mouth have not been done. I'm missing the outer part of the ear plus the inner part needs more details too. This is just the first base layer. And uh, also the fur here around the, the front here and some here around the cheeks need some detailing still. Working on this lovely subject, I can cut it up. I can show you how I worked on the eyes. That can be one 10, 15 minute video. I can do the next video on how I did the ears. Okay, that's another 10, 15 minute video. I can show you how I did all like the base part of this without any of the details, like just the blocking in and explaining why, blah, blah, blah. Another 10, 15 minute video. Like, and then I can show you how I worked on the mouth like how I finished it up how I worked on the mouth and the nose, how I finished this painting and then ripping off, you know, the uh, beautiful green masking tape and revealing the final work. So that's four different videos. I personally don't mind doing that because then I can break it up. It seems to be a little bit easier for me to do. However, you're going to be watching four different videos of me working on the exact same subject. Is that a problem? Let me know. Talk to me. I need to know because I want to serve you as well. Like I'm painting this regardless and I'm filming it regardless, but how I present it to you. Yeah, you have a say in that. So let me know, please, please. Well, thank you very much for joining me today and just diving into these analytics with me. Like I said, I'm not the most tech savvy. I don't always understand or read them correctly, but I find it fascinating to see how my channel is progressing and how it's working. And um, if you have any comments, please let me know behind in the comment section. I'm also just learning and we are all on this YouTube journey and one will grow faster than the other. And I'm not looking at a quick fix here. So the plan is to actually do this once a month to dive into my analytics to see what's going on and let me know if that is something that speaks to you or not stay happy keep your peace have an awesome day god bless you and i'll see you in the next one bye